Greetings! Welcome back to my basement. It is Mailbag Monday. And the beer of the day is Fort Gary Dark Ale, an English Mild Ale. As you can see, it matches my usual color palette for beer preference. And it's quite nice. Quite nice indeed. So, the first thing in the mailbag extravaganza is computer accessory. Seems reasonable. Huh? Little plastic spatula things. Hmm. Scraper for solder paste, flux, silicone, best price, two units, good quality. From Tinknawahuna? Sure, okay, that's that's a name. Uh, they're currently selling it for buck fifty-seven, but I lucked out and got it at auction for twenty whole Canadian cents with free shipping. So uh, I think I can live with that. Do they show it in action? There they go. There they show it in action there. Sure, that's actually not scraping solder paste, but whatever, I guess you could use it for spreading heat sink goo as well. Yeah, they don't say anything about it down here other than show the same pictures again. All right, next item. Which is electronic. Okay. Ah, some surface mount components. Uh... SS14, I think that kind of says 50 pieces. Let's see if we can zoom in on them and find out what they are. SS14. They look like they've got a band against one end of them, so... Are those diodes? That would sort of make sense, I guess, if that's what's really going on. And, yeah, there probably is 50 pieces. Let's go find them. 50 pieces, SS14, 1 in uh, 5819, 1 in 581, why do they say that twice? Uh, 1 amp, 40 volt, SMA, DO214 AC, SMD shot key diodes, aha, from ZQ8. Um, currently selling for $1.32 Canadian, I got them at auction for 80 cents Canadian with free shipping. And uh, yeah, so 1 amp, 40 volt surface mount diodes and just to confirm here is a data sheet still says one amp uh, ss14 is 40 volts uh, maximum peak reverse voltage and uh, one amp current and half a volt forward drop that's reasonable enough okay what do we have here we have one times wire Oh, and it's got a card. Who'd this come from? Somebody called Skyfire. SKT Fire. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Definitely wire. It's got a little JST connector on one end. And oh. Oh, is this one of those? This is one of those temperature sensor things, isn't it? Okay. Looks fairly moisture resistant. Um... Waterproof temperature sensor, temp probe thermistor, NTC 10K, B3950, 2 meter, 3 meter, 10 meter, 20 meter. I bought the 2 meter, and it's currently selling for 442 Canadian from this guy. You can probably find it for cheaper, but I got it at auction for 36 whole cents. Patience pays off. So it looks like it's just a standard NTC uh, 10K ohm temperature probe uh not much to say here minus 50 celsius up to 110 degrees celsius i've never used one of these before fortunately the internet is full of information including this temperature versus resistance conversion chart for 10k thermistors which i think will come in handy right about now well let's just try this thing out shall we does that make it easier for you to read that? Read, sort of. So, at 
just my workbench temperature. It's 11.702K, which according to the chart is about 70 Fahrenheit. No, well, between 70 and 71 Fahrenheit. So what happens if I clench it in my sweaty palms here? This would be a lot easier if I had three hands. I, I could put some put some clip leads and connectors and stuff on here, but I don't want to add excess resistance. So wow, yeah, that's just dropping in impedance resistance. So seven point four three should wait for this to stay boys. Okay, that's pretty close to 7.0. Yeah, slowing down. Uh, anyway, that, according to the chart, is about 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. What else can I measure the temperature of around here? Aha! It says this thing's waterproof. Let's find out. I hope it's clean. Now the alcohol will sterilize it. That's what we want to see. The higher the reading, the lower the temperature. Uh, so we got 17 and a half K. That's 55 or thereabouts Fahrenheit. Um, or this much in, in, uh, international units. Okay. That's, uh, that seems to be doing its job. I don't know how well calibrated they are. I don't know how calibratable they are, but for, you know, cheap, well, cheap at auction, why not? Nope, doesn't taste any different. Let's see what's in this big guy. Retrofit plate. It's flexible and I can feel something big in there. So let's open that up and see what it is. Hmm, appears to be plastic sheets. The one time they actually could have said plastic sheet on it, that is five pieces of, I think that's styrene. So that looks like it's about 10 and a half inches that way by 11 and a bit that way, which means it's a metric. Good for you people. 12 centimeters by 15, about 12 by 25 thereabouts. That makes sense. And thickness, unfortunately, I don't have a metric micrometer, so we'll just have to pretend here that is uh, 18 thousandths of an inch thick. So, and do some math, I guess. It doesn't doesn't matter. It's it's fairly thin anyway. And I'm pretty sure that's styrene. The easiest way to find out is with some way modeling styrene solvent here. Let's just cut a little piece off. I don't think I've ever used this spatch this uh scalp for cutting modeling materials before so this is uh, uh what is it i can't remember what the uh the chemistry of it is it smells good though but it is a solvent type glue for modeling with styrene oh methyl ethyl ketone that's what it is mek yeah that's it. and that is that is most likely styrene. ABS styrene plastic flat sheet plate half millimeter to two millimeter by 120 by 60 millimeter white toy five pieces set. I got this from Pop Mall. They're currently selling this for $4.56 Canadian. When I bought it, it cost $2.85, so it's obviously gone up some. This isn't exactly the same listing. Actually, so far, all of these haven't been exactly the same listing that I bought them off. They've been the same seller, though, and the same wording. 
Um, just a lot of the stuff I bought was at auction. Not this one I bought at regular price, but, you know, it's still an awful lot cheaper than buying it at the normal normal North American prices, especially in Canadian dollars. I know some of the American guys are going to say, oh, you can get that cheaper at my local hobby shop. Yeah, but your local hobby shop's not in Canada, where I am. So I did a little bit of searching, and it turns out uh, MEK is the proper solvent for both styrene and ABS. So I'm no closer to knowing what this is, but just by the feel of it, I think it's styrene. Hard to tell, though. That listing called it both. I don't know. And the last thing for today, we have description CHB2B102. Yeah. Not very helpful. Ooh. Is my scalpel starting to get dull? Hmm. What do we have? We have a bag of clear LEDs. What are they really? They are white. Um, where's something to shine them against? Oh, I know. The styrene sheet. That looks kind of like a slightly warmish white to me. I don't know, it's kind of hard for you guys to see though, isn't it? Hmm. And it says on the bag there's a hundred of them and they are three millimeter LEDs. 100 pieces LED emitting diode, six color, three millimeter, five millimeter, white angle DIY warm white lot bright. From Moz9 Ctop underscore six, Another one that just rolls right off the tongue. Um, I got out of the selection three millimeter. I got warm white and I got a hundred pieces. They had a bunch of different kinds in there. And I got them for 341 Canadian or 380 Australian. I didn't realize that uh, our currencies were so close to par. Anyway, there's not really that much to say about them. Um, color temperature between... 3,500 Kelvin at 20 milliamps. Not much else to say about them, really. All right, here is my uh, mailbag haul for this week. Interesting variety again. Um, some styrene for model making. That's kind of neat. Uh, what did that take? That took three weeks to get here. The little spatulas took a month. The This thing took 11 days to get here that's just shocking i don't think i've ever had anything come from china that fast uh the shot key diodes what were they they were a month and the bag of 100 leds was 40 days so those leds i remembered why i bought them it was basically just to uh backfill my stock from the leds that i used in my little canada day project oh no i'm holding it upside down there we go uh, so yeah um it's always good to have stuff on hand when the mood strikes you to, to do a project. Nothing worse than saying, oh, this is great. I got everything I need to do this project, except for this one thing and I have to wait a month for it to come to China. <laughs> yeah, don't like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, comments, questions down below, as usual, you know the drill. Um, thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping support this silliness. Um, they, uh, as a, as a reward, they get uh, to see all these videos a few days before the rest of you. Um, and other than that, they're just happy to help out, I guess. They're, they're, they're nice people. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to you later.